This is Iowa for you. This is what you call a Well, that right there is going to find out who he's dealing with. Because I'm going to put a free stand up two feet from that mother. So when he comes down here, he's going to find out I'm hunting right beside him. And I'll hunt here every day of the year. Hello. Well, I'm back out in the woods. It, uh, down here in Clark County, they issued approximately 2,500 antlerless tags. And I know a lot of you guys out there are disgruntled about deer numbers being down. And not slaying deer. And it's just on and on and on bunch of belly aching you know I still got my bow in my hands and oh hell I could have a rifle I could have a shotgun I could have a pistol I could probably have a friggin grenade but I'm a bow hunter I hunt everything in the United States with a bow I don't care what season it is are the odds in my favor hell no but I'm not out here for to kill something I'm out here to hunt something with a bow and arrow and some of you opportunist people that have come into bow hunting in the last decade, 10 years, you came in on the upswing, the uptick of a tremendous amount of deer that you did absolutely nothing, political involvement or anything, to have this deer herd like that. You inherited it. But it was an unacceptable number. There were too many. There's guys out there that was hunting in the 60s that if they shot a hundred, a hundred inch deer, it was a trophy. Now you young people, and some of you old people too, smirk at that. Like, well that's not a 200 incher. Hell, most of these young people talk 200 inches uh, on a daily day basis. Like, what, what are they seeing? I, 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 I've hunted my entire adult life now with a bow and arrow, and I don't see them 200 inches. It, uh, and I dare say, I'd, I'd almost gamble. Oh, I'll put my money where my mouth is. I've never been as good a hunter as they are, and, and I could feed that. But you're realistic, your realistic, your, your goals are unrealistic. So buck up, man up, and quit your god starn whining. And if you don't see a deer or 50 deer every night that you go out or 60 standing in a field that you've seen in the past, that's a good thing. Because you know what? We have too many weeds in bow hunting right now. We have too many opportunists. And if you, to take those weeds out, if the numbers go down, I'm sure they'll quit bow hunting. And that's not a bad deal either. Because right now, every one of these people are sitting on your fence line. Uh, it, it's grotesquely unethical the way they're hunting. So if the deer numbers are down and we lose some hunters, that's fine. Because I guarantee you one thing right now. As I stand in this tree stand, if the legislature changed the hunting season to October only for bow hunting and started out in November 1 with gun hunting, you would see a dramatically decrease in these so-called bow hunters because they would pick their guns up overnight because they don't really care how they pursue the deer. They just want to kill the big one. And you know what? I'm so sick of that and that mentality that if we have to have a reduction in deer herd, that's a gosh darn good thing. So that's my opinion on, on this deer being down. Well, deer were too high. If you have it too high and you lower it, then it's supposed to be down. But it's not, un, it's not an unhuntable herd. But in some of you guys, you, you just cannot stand to stand on stand. And I know, because when you go to Canada, you go out west, you go anywhere like this, you, that's all you talk about. How many did you to see? Well, in Canada, if you see one moose in a season, you're damn lucky. But a lot of you people take that same stupid mentality across the border and expect to see a herd of animals. And it ain't going to happen. So that's my thought on the deer numbers are down, like it or not.